Hi, this is Travis Rettenmeyer, and we're gonna run through a drill series that I typically do with every practice partner that I have. Today, I got my buddy Luke, and we're gonna run through this segment. There's about three really important aspects of this, and I'd say this is maybe the most important aspect of pickleball, is how you play here at the kitchen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be dinking back and forth to start, just trying to get our feel, and we're gonna make about 20 balls each. We're gonna keep our swings really nice and compact. If we have the option, we're gonna take them out of the air and just work on that feel. Once we get that going and we both feel like we're warm, we're gonna turn this into a game. Cause I don't know about you, but I like to compete. I don't like to play just ba ba ba, monotonous, boring. I wanna beat Luke up and I think he wants to try to beat me. Probably not gonna happen, but he's gonna try it. So we're gonna go head to head here, dinking, dinking, dinking. And as soon as we have the option, we're going to attack. We're playing at half court straight ahead and it's game on from, po from point one. Okay, so I got Luke there, right? He probably shouldn't be guarding backhand. But the great thing about this game is we get to work on everything from the kitchen line. We're gonna be attacking off the bounce, we're gonna attack out of the air, we're we'll hitting re resets for defense, and we're gonna work on a couple specific things with Luke here and hopefully he improves. So back to it now, game on. Okay, we'll start from zero, zero, I'll give you another shot. Okay. So right away, Luke, do you think you're a threat to me at this moment? No. Why? Uh, I think I'm being too timid. I'm trying you're to very timid there. and your stance doesn't show any presence. Okay, so what I mean by that is if you look at Luke's stance when he's standing, he's almost upright. He's purely reacting to what I'm gonna do. So the only balls he's probably gonna be offensive are, are literally these ones, they're so easy. To really improve as a player, you have to be deceptive. I have to be able to attack on balls that maybe aren't that obvious. So if you can see my stance, I'm kind of reaching out here after I see a dink, and I'm gonna try to test this limit of can I pop balls from out here. So Luke being in this position, I don't think he's gonna see those balls. So Luke, what I wanna see is now when we're dinking, and it's okay if you miss a few, it's okay if you you know, even shank a few, but try to reach out, and if you see a ball, see if you can give me a little pop on it. Okay, okay? got you. Good. There, that's beautiful. That was much better. Reach, reach, reach. Good. Okay, but right away, yeah. even not reach only can you reach the ball more, but your mentality shifts. Instead of coming up to the line to dink, and this is what I always reference, a lot of people come up to this line just to dink. You come up here to attack, okay? Yes, of course, we're gonna dink, but my first option is to try to get a ball around net height. And by putting Luke in this position, his brain instantly shifts from I'm being defensive to I'm looking to be offensive. And therefore, he was taking three or four dinks that he probably would've let bounce, and now he's taking them out of the air and popping me. Okay, back to it. Okay, make sure you're moving those feet. Okay. Nice little small swings, no wrist. No wrist in those dinks right now. Good. Got him. Nice. Thank God I got this trusty engaged paddle with more bite. Thing just dropped. Okay, let's try a few more. Right, so very little wrist on those swings. Swing is about six inches long to be super consistent. Paddle should always be in your peripherals. Got him. Okay, so the three things I'm really looking for from Luke here, which he seemed to do a better job with, is reach to attack. For me, that's one. Be a consistent dinker, which means we're not using a lot of wrist, but just being very stable. The paddle face isn't altering. We're being very simple here in our, in our uh, technique. And then last but not least, uh, can he play defense? Can he reset? Can he take a few dinks out of the air? Okay, let's see that. Good, test that limit, test that limit. There you go, test that limit. Test it. Good. Beautiful. And you notice I got to work on a little reset there. So again, every aspect of this. Okay, let's try one more here down the line. Okay. So general rule of thumb is that's our warm up. We're gonna play that game straight ahead to 11. As soon as I smoke Luke, 11, 1, 11, 0, something like that, we're gonna go cross court to the backhand, okay? And then we're gonna shift. 